Hey ladies and gents and welcome to Pro Evolution Soccer 2021 PES Universe version 1 option file install tutorial for the PlayStation 4. So an option file allows you to have the license kits for the various leagues. We're talking about the Premier League, the Skybet Championship, La Liga 1 and 2, Serie A and the Bundesliga. Check the description and the pinned comment for any timestamps and also any further future notes that I need to make. First, before continuing with this video, it allows you to skip over various parts of the tutorial that you may not want to hear. If you have problems with your memory stick, just make sure it is a branded memory stick. Some of the unbranded ones are a little bit dodgy. Also check to make sure it's formatted in FAT32. And I will leave a link in the description and the pinned comment to a well-branded and reliable cheap USB stick. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install WinRAR. If you have this installed already, you can skip, like I said, using the pinned comment or description. So the first thing we need to do is click on start and type CPU and then go to view processor info. What we want to do now is look at this bit here where it says system type and it will say the 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. Once you have that, close this down and then open your web browser, type WinRAR, click on this link here, click download. So here we have the Two versions, 64-bit and 32-bit. Now, based on what we found out, we saw that mine was a 64-bit version, so I need to download the 64-bit version here. If yours is 32, then just click on this link here. You do have the different languages also down here as well. Just follow the installation instructions. It's pretty simple, and you don't have to pay a penny. It's totally free. Okay, so you should have received either an email with the file that you're supposed to download, with the password so just put that password into the link they provided otherwise you can always visit their website www.pezuniverse.com so once the file is downloaded navigate to your downloads folder and then right mouse click on this raw file here and click extract here now on this folder that you've just extracted this yellow folder here Right mouse click and then click rename and we want to call it WEPES. It's so important that you do this, otherwise the folder may not be recognized on your USB stick. Now that's renamed, we just need to copy this folder, navigate to your USB stick, so make sure you put your USB stick in the drive. Look for something like local disk. Right mouse click and click paste. Okay, so once that's done, navigate to the bottom corner, click on this little arrow, and then click on this USB stick, and click eject. So once you've done that, insert the USB stick into your PlayStation 4, boot up your PlayStation, and then let's start PES 2021. Okay, so once it starts, press X. You may have to do the controller configuration, etc. Okay, so if we move to the right hand side, go to settings. And then we go to edit and click yes to create edit data. Click OK. Click OK. And then we want to go to import export. Accept. And now we're going to do a quick tutorial which is built into the game. So we're just going to skip through this. So click import team, click OK, click OK, tick the import tutorial, click go to detailed settings, click OK, click apply player squad data, click OK, click OK again, click OK, and there we go. So just need to get that done and out of the way. So just tap X one more time. Now, because we've imported a team as part of the, that tutorial, we just want to delete the images out. So just go to delete image images, strip L, delete all images, tap OK, tap yes, tap OK. Team emblems, delete all images, tap OK, tap yes. And then back out by pressing circle. 
So here you should be able to select your USB stick. If you're not seeing it, it's because of a number of things. You haven't called the folder WEPS as I showed in earlier. You haven't formatted it in FAT32. And if it's not that, then it could be because it's unbranded or it's not connecting quite correctly in your PS4. So one of those reasons, and I will leave a link in the description and also the pinned comment to a decent branded SanDisk. So select your USB stick by pressing X. Then we're going to press square to select all files. Tap X to go to detailed settings. Untick both of these boxes. They are both pre-ticked, so it is so important to remove both of those ticks and tap OK. And then just wait.
Okay, so once it's finished importing, tap X. And then tap X again on import team. Tap OK. Select your USB stick. Now we're going to select all the German teams apart from these top three. Bayer Leverkusen, Bayer Munich and Schalke. Don't, don't tick any of those, but all the rest. Tick all the uh, German teams here. And also Grameo, Palmeiras and all these national teams as well. So NTFs. So the Bra ones and the NTFs. Just make sure you tick all those. Go to detailed settings. It's important this time to make sure both of these boxes are ticked. Tap OK and just wait again. Tap OK once it's finished. And then we're going to go to Import Competition. Tap OK. Select your USB stick. Press Square to select all files. Press X on Go to Detailed Settings. And then make sure this box is unticked and tap OK. Tap OK once it's finished and now just want to press circle to return and then we want to go to competition structure, we want to go to draw size and then set the Bundesliga to 18 teams, go back, then select Europe from this list, press left bumper until we get to other European leagues. Select Bayer Leverkusen and press left bumper and swap them for Pez United. Press right bumper. Select Schalke, press left bumper and select Linger Blitz. Right bumper and select FC Bayern Munich and left bumper and select St. Ragler. 
So all the German teams should now be in the Bundesliga. Then just back out and tap X to finish and it will automatically save your edit data. And then if we scroll across to kick off, get a local match and press X. Now a lot of people make the mistake of not turning the live update off if you want to select a German team. The reason we do this is because it then loads the um, the player data. So if I show you by example, so this is what your your team should look like now. So you know you've got all the the badges and correct players in there. So if we go to the Bundesliga, you'll see that you know we've got Pez United in there, a couple other teams. So what we need to do is click the right analog stick down, turn off the live update, and now if we go to the Bundesliga. You'll see that the teams are all German and they all have their correct player rating and the correct players in place. Okay, that's all for me, ladies and gents. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you didn't, please let me know in the comments and I'll try and improve it for future. And also, don't forget to drop a comment below if you get stuck on any of these stages and I'll be there to help and I'm sure many others will as well. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.